Meanwhile, residents in the Baines and Grantstown community are benefiting from the Lend a Hand project. The idea is to enhance the lives of residents from a social and economic standpoint. This morning, Siesca Adderley is in the community with more on the initiative. Good morning again, Siesca. Good morning. We're still on Lewis Street this morning, but this time we're joined with Lucas Metropolis. He's chairman of Lend a Hand Bahamas. Good morning, Lucas. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good. Now, what is Lend a Hand Bahamas? Yeah, so Lend a Hand Bahamas is a Bahamian nonprofit uh, that was actually founded back in 2014, uh, strictly focused on bringing more opportunities and activities uh, to certain areas around Nassau that could use them. Uh, so, for instance, now we're in Grants Grantstown is where we're starting. Uh, this is a community that's an amazingly historic community that I've been honored to work in and to learn more about. Uh, so right now, a big initiative in the past few years has been to get a headquarters, more of a, a community center set up right here on Lewis Street in Grandson. It's really a base to begin. Uh, so here we are. All right. And so you were telling me an interesting story off camera as to how you acquired your headquarters and just talk about um, what all is happening to get this headquarters up and running because you have a special event tomorrow, right? Sure. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of support. Uh, whether it be through volunteers, monetary support to make this all possible. Um, this building we're actually standing in front of, which is the community center, uh, putting the finishing touches on it tonight. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be having an event on uh, right here, a block party, shutting down the street, uh, doing a great event for the kids, face painting, bouncy castle, all of that, uh, 11 to 3 p.m. And then 12 to 12.30 is the actual ceremony portion where you hear from a few people that are really instrumental in this project. Uh, this center, this property was actually donated by a family that is uh, many children and their parents grew up right here. Um, and uh, the Neville, that's why we're actually going to name it the Neville and Nora Dorset Community Center. Uh, it's an amazing family. It's when we were planning this, it was a no-brainer to attach their name to it. Uh, one, because of the generous gift of the property to then construct the center. Uh, but also just the name and what it means to other members of the community as well. So so what do you think having a center like this, um, I guess the anchor for a community like this, an inner city community, what do you think having this hair will mean for those in the community? Mm -hmm. yeah, for me, uh, I was saying to you earlier that um, one of my biggest reasons I've stayed involved, I've supported personally, um, is because I realize so much potential in some of these communities, um, especially among the youth. Uh, and just simply lacking the opportunity or the connection to existing opportunities here in the Bahamas as well as abroad. So for this, I'm very excited uh, to bring in obviously amazing groups from abroad to come and run opportunities, but also from throughout Nassau, bring in other charities to join us to offer their amazing programs. They're already doing around Nassau, but now with this very unique and a very historic community uh, that I'm excited to work with. Now, I know you have a busy day, Lucas, but just before you go, what can we expect from Lend a Hand Bahamas in the coming months? Uh, so in the coming months, we have a great team. Uh, Sheila Pritchard uh, is handling a lot of our, one of our board members handling a lot of the programming planning with our new executive director, uh, Tammy clark Ramming, and then uh, programs director, Mitzi Ann Burroughs. They're sitting down with our volunteers now and crafting out more of the programming they plan to offer. So, for instance, like one focus we, I really want to push, and I know we've talked about, is pushing computer science and computer literacy, uh, as well as literacy. But really what we're trying to do is become a complement to what's already being done in the education system. This isn't a school or anything like that. This is to throw out those extra opportunities, linking some of the education they've had, uh, but also with very unique programs, um, like I said, computer science-based, uh, photography, uh, there's just so many programs we're looking to run and we're already building great partnerships with other uh, nonprofits to bring, like I said, bring in their programs. So you'll see a lot of interesting programs coming in this community, but also the focus on working with many kids, but working in small groups to really make sure they understand and they grasp the concept being taught. Not to say we worked with 500 kids in our first month, but to say we work with 40 kids and they really understand the basics of computers. So you're helping one student at a time, one life at a time. You're going to make a big impact in this community. Well, thank you so much. That was Lucas Metropolis, chairman of Lend a Hand Bahamas. And they're having a very special event to introduce the community and the Bahamas at large to Lend a Hand Bahamas. So come on down here tomorrow. It's one big party. So come and join.